Fast ball misses up at 95. Profar 241, 13 since August 1st. There's a fastball right by him at 95, and it's one and one. Comfortable just going out of the stretch all the time. This is belted into right center field. Alec Thomas backhands it. Profar heads for second. Still of a trade from the Nationals. I'm not sure Blockbuster Bombshell no. even covers it. <laughs> he came over here from Walker Guys. Very trendy these days. Well, Soto is very selective. That's the second time Nelson has thrown. Ninety seven that time for Ryan Nelson. He's ahead of Soto. One and two. One two. Popped him up straight up. Rivera coming in from third. Afraid to challenge him in the strike zone with that heater. And there's a bit of a misfire at 90. Adding a touch or two on yeah. a velo right now. Another one at 97 fouled away. Ball and a strike on Machado. And trying to slide. On the ground is shortstop Perdomo. Thought about third. A low throw and Walker's got a teams, but right. they got both of them. They gave up a lot in return, too. Hey, there's a Ryan Nelson curveball. Osmer to Boston, so there was an opening at first base. And Bell has fit in nicely. A fastball at the knees at 97. Which made Luke Voigt really happy. Yeah, Luke Voigt. Ooh. How about that? Ryan Nelson aggressive. Pretty impressive in that first inning, giving up a leadoff double in your major league debut and then settling down the way he did. Get he ain't a scared. Ooh. Oh, that was a strike before. This season, numbers are down just a bit. Kind of sawed him off. Perdomo drifting out there behind second. But it was 0 for 5. That seems to be an outlier. He's hit the ball well last couple of weeks. This is tapped to third. Emmanuel Rivera there, and quickly. Two out times since the first week of May, which is when he suffered a left shoulder injury, brought back up as a designated hitter today. 95 at the belts. This would be very dark looking out that sunlit mound. Yeah, some guys are able to a little bit. Bounced over the mound, Perdomo behind the bag. And Ryan Nelson with the shutdown inning. Three outs on eight pitch. Grisham leads off the San Diego third. In the year as a starting pitcher, eventually moved into the bullpen. He was a closer for a while. He loved closing games. He really liked the adrenaline surge. Big strikeout total. And the Diamondbacks got him with a second round pick, and now here he is. There's the ride, the overshift, way over to the first base side with two strikes on Grisham. Boom. Called strike three, dropped another changeup in there. So, man, the catcher, Austin Nola. Nola jumps on the first one. McCarthy fighting the sun along the right field line. And he's got it in fair territory. First pitch curveball. most fastballs when they get up into that hitting zone gives the illusion of a rising fastball that's what all the minor league evaluators and the prospect guys and the coaches have talked about Bob with that fastball and Nelson likes to think of himself as a power pitcher he pitches off that fastball there's a good one right there at 90 right on the corner ring him up and sit him down off the fourth Nelson has <laughs> retired nine straight since a leadoff double by Profar, and there's a first pitch. Just off the edge with a fast moon, so they're not too concerned with the numbers, which are just fine as it is. That's fouled back here. One and two on Juan Soto. D backs. You need to get some of those noise canceling headphones. 
Huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's good work. <laughs> the league pitcher of the month for July right there. Pretty good. And a good looking young one on the mound. Lined right at McCarthy. And they're twice in Los Angeles this weekend. Tried to ambush a fastball. And a question about it, but he's been the money hitter. Yeah, he is batting Manny Machado 336 since August 1st. And this is down the stretch when 0 and 2. Strikes and above the belt. Swing and a miss. Ryan Nelson. Josh Bell struck out looking to win the first. He was Nelson's first big league strikeout. Boy, every day I'm seeing more and more from Geraldo Perdomo. It's a 22-year-old kid doing yeah, that. Yeah, he loved that. Gets Bell to pop it up third base side, and, well, Perdomo's got that side. And Ryan Nelson has 12 consecutive batters after a leadoff double by Jerickson Profar. And Cattell Marte spins and throws and takes a base. They have had nothing but discouragement and disappointment this year from their $340 million man. Appeared he was very close to coming back. He was hit with an 80 game suspension. As fans and the organization, he did not run and hide by any stretch. Face the music. That's foul at third. And the positive test was certainly a surprise as well. Tatis said he used a two and two on Kim. Certainly had a ripple effect here in San Diego, oh, yeah. but. Ryan Nelson gets Kim to chase the slider, and that's strength. Expanded September rosters. And has gone away from the shades. Mostly coming off the bench. Got traded here back in March. Reaches down, pops it up. Here comes Emmanuel Rivera. And five pitches. 40 strikes. Trent Grisham leads off the San Diego 6 3 at Reno. And some questions have been raised about maybe the calibration on the track man in the Coast League on social media. A little bit of both. McCarthy in the sunlight, drifting near the line. Jake in foul ground, and he's got. Just firing fastballs in there for strikes. Ryan Nelson split pitcher of the year last season. He has spent all of this year at Triple A Reno. And has been dominating this Padre lineup in his major league debut. Rivera fires a strike from third. That's 17 consecutive. That's the right field upper concourse. You can get some tremendous autographed items for as low as a dollar. No cash. It's credit card only. So you are forewarned. A four That's a must attend. I always come out of there with a bunch of stuff. That one gets by a diving walker. And it's deep into the right field corner. Profar, who has their only hit a double in the first, is going to go for it. Double for Profar, the error on the right fielder. McC well, we saw Nick. Short left center, Alec Thomas. Way up there. Ryan Nell. His brother Connor is here. He lost his sister Chrissy to cancer, but uh, I talked to his dad about that and just how that made everybody so much stronger. A very profound moment and conversation. But I, he was always really good at baseball. He was always the smallest kid until high school, but it was the area codes game and team, Steve, that really was the. Here from Henderson, Nevada. And they have had a lot to cheer about. And how about Ryan Nelson throws. 70 pitches, 51 for strikes. There have been only two previous instances ever of a Diamondback starting pitcher makes innings 
without giving up any runs. Ryan Nelson is the third. The two previous off double then set down the next 17 batters consecutively. That has fallen behind. Well, Ryan Nelson has all day long. He says he likes to think of attacking the glove of the catcher. Be aggressive in the zone. Try to attack the glove. Major League debut. That's outstanding. On the road against this lineup. And Bell dunks one into center. A one out single, just the third San Diego hit. Now, from what we've seen from Jake Cronenworth over the last few years. And he's starting to get a little loose. Just off the edge. One out with Bell at first. Back to that fastball down and away. Kurt Schilling always told me that was the best pitch he could have. 2-2. Right on the corner with a fastball at 95. Against the D-backs and it's hitting better than 320. First pitch curveball and he steals strike one. Just beyond the reach of Rivera and into left. Bell will stop at second. Beatty is a guy who takes his walks. He always did when he was a Dodger. He gets on base, keeps the strikeouts under control. Two balls and no strikes. Got under it. McCarthy in sun and shadow in right field. Ryan Nelson.